case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1992, the Supreme Court of the United States presided over the landmark case of Wisconsin Department of Revenue v. William Wrigley, Jr. Company. The case centered around an argument about the tax responsibilities of businesses operating interstate. Wrigley, the renowned gum company, was at the heart of this dispute. Wrigley's operations included recruitment and training of sales representatives, along with devising various modes of gum distribution. As the court delved into defining Wrigley's role in Wisconsin, they fixated their analysis on the true extent of Wrigley's activities in the state. Justice Scalia, authoring the majority opinion, clarified that the law has a distinct limitation on tax responsibilities. The court's verdict was that Wrigley's activities in Wisconsin extended beyond mere order solicitation. In its decision, the court overturned the Supreme Court of Wisconsin's earlier ruling and sent the case back for further consideration. Wrigley's operations were deemed significant enough to establish a firm nexus with the state, thereby ruling out their exemption from Wisconsin's state income taxes. The verdict marked a pivotal moment in the interpretation of taxation law for interstate businesses. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSE.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.